All right, everybody, here we are again. Uh, Paul Neeson, Raw Life Health Show. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm doing a lot of videos lately about in intermittent fasting. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, I've been eating every other day now for the last seven months. And it's time for me to up my game and do it a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about why I'm doing this and also the results I'm going to get from doing this. For the last few days, I started a new program. I started the OMAD diet, which is eating one meal a day. That's what it stands for, OMAD, one meal a day. Uh, it is still uh, intermittent fasting, uh, but it's, I would say, on a deeper level. Because even though I'm not taking my fast as long of going 36 hours, uh, a whole day and a whole night of fasting and eating every other day, I am not juicing when I'm not fasting, so I'm water fasting or dry fasting. So even though it's not going as long, it's taking it to the next level. And in the next couple of videos, I'll be talking about why I'm doing things like this. But for me, I want to go to the extreme, and I want to set myself up to get there. And I think eating every other day has been such a blessing in my life. My stomach has never been flatter. I've never had more energy or felt better. In fact, I can definitely see myself eventually one day getting back there. My ultimate goal was when I'm not fast, uh, when I'm not eating, was uh, to be fasting. And when I was fasting, it was literally, I wanted to water fast or dry fast. But the longer I was doing it, I found myself juice fasting. And recently, I'm getting my kitchen redone, and I didn't have my, my juicer uh, to make the juice or available. So I had to rely on store-bought uh, juice or, or, or past, not, well, I guess flash pasteurized juice sometimes or whatever, store-bought juice. Now, could I have just done a water on those days I weren't fasting? Well, absolutely I could, and I did. There were days I would go with just uh, dry fasting or water fasting. But as I said, the longer I got into this, uh, I was relying more on those uh, the, the juice on the days I was uh, fasting. And, and they're not wrong with that. That's a great diet, a great way to live. But when my juicer wasn't available, then I ran into a situation. And not saying not everyone's going to be having their kitchen worked on where they can't have their juicer, but I don't want people to have to rely on a machine to be successful at their diet. Uh, and uh, I could definitely see myself doing this diet again. It's the best diet or the best way to eat for long term. But I want to take it up another level and <clears throat> really get into the metabolic uh, reasons or, or levels of this intermittent fasting and to do that you need to fast on water or or, or dry fast and not create a, a, a response from some type of food so when I'm juice fasting if I put a carrot or an apple in that juice even though there aren't many calories in that juice or no calories you're still getting nutrition in and when you're getting that nutrition in in essence you are breaking the water fast so you're not getting the deep benefits of that water fast. And for me, one of the reasons I, I'm interested in this whole uh, type of uh, one meal a day plan is uh, to boost my natural testosterone and, and, and to prove it can be done naturally, number one, and also at the same time uh, to reduce my body fat. And uh, I'm exercising a lot and I really want to uh, create a certain physique. So there are these different reasons. So for longevity, I think eating every other day while juicing in the days you're not eating is the best overall diet for longevity. Juicing is wonderful. Vegetable juicing, fresh vegetable juice is excellent. Uh, so I definitely think long-term wise, that is great. Now, uh, I'm going to experiment with this OMAD diet eating once a day and, and try to compare it to that from a, 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 a physical and a mental standpoint. I could see eating one meal a day being more challenging in ways of I'm not going to be able to uh, eat uh, like a whole fruit meal and then eat like a whole salad meal. I'm not going to have the option to do that because I'm only eating once a day. And that's one of my uh, drawbacks and one of the reasons I didn't do this to begin with. However, on the other hand, I could see many of the benefits of doing the one meal a day versus doing uh, eating uh, every other day. See, when I was eating every other day, not only was I juicing on my off days, but the more I got into this, on the days I was eating, my ultimate goal was to only eat two meals a day, but I found myself eating more than two meals a day. And after fasting 36 hours every other day, I couldn't wait to get up and uh, get some uh, fresh fruit in my body or something else. And that ultimately is not the ideal way to do it. Now, with the uh, one, uh, one meal a day plan, 
Uh, I will not have that option. I'm only going to be able to eat once a day. But after doing the every other day plan and fasting, this is going to be so easy for me to go a whole day without any water or any juice or anything like that. And that's my goal. So what I attempt to accomplish from my diet understand, uh, from this standpoint is uh, to water fast the whole day or dry, or dry fast. And then when it comes time uh, to get my meal, uh, to start it off with a green vegetable juice because I definitely want to get my green juice in. And, and then from there, uh, maybe have a couple of pieces of fruit and then my main meal while following correct food combining as best as I can. Now, I see uh, a lot of people doing this intermittent fasting where they're picking a window to eat their food. Let's say they'll pick a seven-hour window to eat their food. <laughs> I almost have to laugh at something like this because I think it's great that people are restricting their, their eating to a certain time. But me on my diet, uh, restricting my eating to seven hours is what I've been doing for the last 20 years. I've just been eating uh, two meals a day pretty much, maybe three meals a day within a seven hour window or so for like the last 20 years. So uh, I don't really see, see that as a fasting thing. I think that's a great step to get to a point where you're fasting. Uh, but now I want to restrict, I want to eat one meal a day and try to have that within one hour, that one meal within one hour. And uh, which brings up another question, when is the best time to consume that meal? And I'll be doing some experimentation with that. Uh, there are different goals people have. I am an advocate of a daylight diet, which is not eating when it's dark outside. And sometimes in the winter, it gets dark at 4 or 5 o'clock. Uh, I know a lot of people that are eating this uh, type of diet uh, wait till evening time to eat their one meal. And I'm going to experiment with different phases of this uh, and, and see... Uh, but again, that will go against the principles of the daylight diet. I know there's a lady named Tanya Savaska who wrote a book called Quantum Eating, which I absolutely love. And she eats one meal a day, or she eats in a day, but she stops eating at 2 or 3 o'clock. So that hence her meal would be earlier in the day. It's not necessarily one meal a day, but she just stops eating uh, by 2 or 3 o'clock, which is a great thing as well. Uh, so what about me? What When am I going to eat my meal, uh, one meal a day? Well, I'm going to experiment with everything. Uh, because I know from a metabolic standpoint and boosting testosterone, it might be better uh, to wait to the evening, uh, I, uh, from what I hear and research. I also know that uh, from a lot of people that exercise and do this, which is uh, one of my goals or, or joys about doing this, uh, they would like to exercise and eat in the evening. It just makes it easier for them because they've already gotten through the day, whereas if they eat earlier or exercise earlier, it makes them hungry earlier, and then they eat earlier, and then they got to go through a whole day without food, and it makes it more of a challenge for them. I think at this point, my answer of when is the best time to eat the one meal a day would be whenever is most convenient for you. So we've got to remember the, the social aspects of eating one meal a day. And, uh, you know, eating every other day uh, created a big issue because I wasn't eating every day. So if somebody wanted to call me up to eat or if I was at an event where they had food, if it wasn't an eating day, I, I didn't cheat. I couldn't eat. As now, I know I'm eating once a day, so it's going to make it much more easily socially for me to do this. Uh, but as for the time I eat, I'm going to try to stick to cons being consistent every day. However, knowing that if somebody invites me, if I'm eating in the evening, and somebody invites me to lunch, okay, that day I'll eat my one meal a day in the afternoon or vice versa. If I'm eating every day my meal in the afternoon and then somebody tells me uh, that uh, they're going to uh, go out to dinner and they're going to invite me, and if I know that in advance, maybe I'll save my one meal a day for that time. So I don't see that being the best plan uh, long term. I think being consistent is best. But on the other hand, I do see that being the best plan because it's going to help me be as most flexible as possible. But for the goals I'm trying to accomplish, uh, I want to make sure I exercise at a, a particular time, uh, a consistent time, and eat at a consistent time every day. So that's what I'll be experimenting with and trying. I've spent many years exercising early in the mornings, and I've spent many uh, years exercising in the evenings and uh, based on my schedule. Uh, so I'll still have to base things on my schedule, but I'll see what is best and what will work best for that. And of course, I'll keep everyone informed here uh, with this. And you're invited to put your comments or questions below the video. But I do want to say that uh, calorie restricting my diet, and that's another thing, is, is, is just not eating as much food. It, it's definitely going to give me the physique I want, but 
the, the thing here is, and the interesting thing is, and I made a video about it previously, my previous video is, a lot of people eating one meal a day or eating uh, intermittent fasting with an eating window are, are, are not eating a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet or even worse or even not worse. You know, they're not eating a raw food diet. So I am going to be doing this on a raw vegan diet 100%. And uh, my mentor, Dr. Fred Bishy. Uh, does this and has been an advocate a advocate of this for years. He's the first person I've ever heard talk about this intermittent fasting, uh, and he's he's uh, almost 90 years old and he's been eating a raw vegan diet for over 60 years successfully and doing great. So uh, that's what I'm doing, and 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 it's going great. The last couple of days I've tried it, and I'm getting so much pleasure that knowing I could eat every day, uh, but even more pleasure knowing that today's. Or the, what the times I'm not eating, I'm not worried about juicing because I don't know when my next meal is going to be, and so on. Uh, 24 hours is nothing for me. I mean, fat. If I mean, when I'm used to literally fasting one day a week that I've done over the years, uh, skipping a whole day, I would go 36 hours. So one whole day and one whole night. Uh, fasting from 24 hours to 24 hours, so like from lunch to lunch, or dinner to dinner, or breakfast to breakfast. I mean, this is going to be a. a a piece of raw cake for me, no, a piece of cake. This is going to be pretty simple for me, so I'm very confident about it. And and just the question comes down to, uh, will I juice on those times where I'm not I'm fasting? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to monitor my blood work, and I'm not saying I'm not going to do green vegetable juices throughout the day because I may. Uh, but my goal is to water fast throughout the day, do a green vegetable juice, and then eat my meal. Uh, whether it be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 o'clock at night. I might go with the season. I might change with the season. But, uh, but either way, you can't go wrong. Whether you're doing every other day, whether you're doing once a day, whether you're doing a... And don't get me wrong, if you're doing a 7-hour eating window a day, I think that's excellent for, for the people that are new to this or people that are used to eating all sorts of hours. Anytime you're going to... Uh, be discipline yourself to eating healthier. I think it's a, a good a good move all around. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on the videos. Put your comments or questions below the video. And until then, everybody, uh, have a great day and a great rollout.